Why, hello there, everyone. Hello <laughs> there! Ugh. <laughs> I'm poor neighbors. <laughs> Today's video, I know that we said that we weren't gonna do hauls. We have a cheesy grin for a reason. But this is a completely <laughs> different kind of like concept towards hauls. This is not a haul where we're like, come buy our things. This is a haul you where we- You can if you want to. I mean, yes. <laughs> this is a haul where we want to show you what kinds of items we are picking up for fall to sell on Hot For spooky season. Because we have been picking up tons of different fall stuff. We have some fun fall stuff mm -hmm. in our closets, whatever. We just want to show you what type of stuff we are picking up for fall. And we're kind of going to like give you reasons or connect them to the trends yes. to show you why, like our thought process behind picking this up. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're actually interested, this is stuff we are selling. So you can <laughs> reach out to us. But mainly, we just want to show you what types of stuff we're picking up for fall. Can you imagine if we're like, you can't buy any of this. I'm keeping all yeah. of it. All of this is off limits. None of this is my size. Just kidding. Like, There's a couple pair of shoes anything. that I'd love to keep. <laughs> that <laughs> actually would be can't. really funny. Oh my gosh. We're like, look at all these great things. You can't buy it. <laughs> Honestly, for me, if all of this was my size, it'd be dangerous. Oh, I keep so be, much of it. The fall is not a good time for my wallet because, well, sweaters jeans, boots, bankruptcy. Oh, actually, we have been picking up items for our personal self that are fall. Let us know if you would like to see a video of items that we bought ourselves for fall because I have went on like a little shopping spree. I'm not I gonna had say bad that. sales last month, but I still- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I spent a lot of money on myself, but I did just that. We may be showing you in an upcoming video our fall personal finds from like Posh or wherever. Did I spend a hundred dollars on a sweater? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Find out. So that may be coming up in like two weeks or so. Anyways, let's dive into what we've been picking up for fall because we have some really exciting things. I got a pile next that to are me. so cute, and honestly, we just want to show them me. off because they're so cute. Oh. So I'm gonna start. This is in no particular order. No, by the way, this is just a random assortment. I do have some shoes that I'm gonna I show was... first, but there might be some <laughs> more will, mixed in. We will try to stick to a category, but we'll like, just, yeah. So <laughs> first off, I've got these Dolce Vita boots. I Obviously, I picked these out because they are the sleek black leather so and they are croc embossed, which we have been telling you for the past couple of videos is super, super popular this fall. They're so cute. They are brand new, which is super exciting. This and leather is so soft. Do you ever just feel a pair of leather boots and you're like, these are gonna be comfortable. Mm -hmm. They are a size nine and they're actually like my favorite style of Dolce Vita. If you didn't know, Dolce Vita is literally like my favorite shoe brand to pick up to resell. These were $170. Oh, their so shoes are so high quality. It is not, oh, when we were talking about the Dolce Vita logo, this, there we go. There she that is. Showed up Look really at that. Well. Thank you for putting a metallic this, bottom in your shoe. This Dolce Vita. is the one that you should pick up if you find it. Don't pick up the DV Dolce Vita. This is the expensive. That Another way to target. know is it says Dolce Vita right here. Mm -hmm. Other ones will say DB. So those are the expensive ones. Next up, another line. pair. Oh. This is like my dream shoe. These are I so wanna... close to fitting me and <sighs> y'all can't even imagine. I want to find these in my size. You, so can't, you can't tell me anything. The minute I find a pair of these boots that fit me. So these are a women's They're size so 10. These ones are used, but these are so cute. If you don't <sighs> remember, I had these like three months back. If you didn't say they're Dolce Vita. These are also Dolce Vita. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite shoes I've ever had and sold and they're back. She says, I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. <laughs> that meme. <laughs> but these I believe are the same style except the zipper is a uh, loop zipper instead of a pull tab. But these are so cute. I think these have more of an almond toe and these are more pointed. I actually had another okay. pair of the same style of Dolce Vita boots that I wanted to show you, but they sold already. Oh, they did. They were some, they were tiger print pony hair at the front oh. and leopard print pony hair at the back. So cute. You want to talk Dolce about Vita good... makes the best boots. Next up, I got another pair of boots and these are brand new. It's these rare ones that we have shoes in the oh boxes. <laughs> these ones so cute. Another A shoe brand I literally used to poo-poo this brand all the time, but now I am like obsessed. 
These are Sam Edelman's, and I don't know if you can see without the light, but these are like a Western style boot. There's but, like a stitching detail. There it is. But these are also obviously brand new. They have the box. I low-key love me a pair of Sam Edelman shoes. He does make really, really nice shoes. And again, this fits the trends because it is a sleek, just black leather. There's nothing too crazy about them. You can't go wrong with a good, they with would a good just, old black leather. And chunky heels, again, mm -hmm. not the pointed heel. Stray away from the pointed heel. Those are a seven and a half. Pointed toe is different. Pointed heel is a no. Yes. So pointed here we go. Toe. We've got three more pair of shoes that I'm at least going to show you for right now. So this, I don't know if you've heard of this brand, but this brand is made in Italy. So, so expensive. And it is called Swedish Has Beans. Has Write that down if you do not know. And is if it you has have- Has-beens? A no. Swedish has been? Maybe. I don't know. Am I just too literal? <laughs> probably, honestly. So they're designed in Sweden and they're made in Italy. Sweden. This This pair was actually made or was sold at Anthropology. It's a size 37, super, super cute. Um, this, to me, the reason that I connect this to fall, first off, it looks like a pilgrim shoe it's from a the penny. top. It's a penny loafer. But this is very cottagecore. This is like cottagecore with a Look heel. Look how cute she is. So she's Look like modern cottagecore. Next up, pair of Lucky Brands, but these are not just the regular like single color Lucky Brands. These are color block, black and tan. I luckily found a pair of these in six, which are these, and five and a half. I love the color block Lucky Boots. We said in the last video that Lucky Boots are always super popular in the mm -hmm. fall. These are the Basil booty. So if you didn't yes. know what those look like, that's these. These are the, the low, like the Basil the or Basil, heel, whatever they're called. Double zipper. Yes. Booty. Yes. They this do style is amazing. If you find mm -hmm. them, pick them up. Again, even with like spots and yeah, I was gonna say there's like some wear to the leather on this side. Yeah, like I think even that's with kind of what this, people look for honestly, they do amazing. I don't expect like those to old, stick around very long. No, like a good old worn-in pair of booties. And I can't get over these. I feel like these are having a moment right now, and I don't know laser why. Laser cut boots. There's a Jeffrey Campbell boot that's out right now. That's the same thing except the laser cut goes to the tip. Actually, I have those I've as been well. seeing the like a laser cut booty on like every single blogger, every single anybody who's yeah. like on the internet right now that knows anything about fashion is wearing like a low cut, low heel, chunky laser cut booty. This is a size six and a half and These they are, so are Seychelles, which I said. Seychelles for those um, of us that can't This <laughs> style was sold at Anthro, which is obviously like an added perk. And they're like this nice kind of like lightly distressed look to them, which again, distressed anything is kind of in for the past mm -hmm. like three years, I feel like so at least. Soft. But yeah, the laser cut booties are very popular right now and they do look a lot like the basil boot. They so really they do. should do really well. I feel like anything with any kind of pre-distressing on it, it's just like, it's nice to have. Cause then you're not like worried about if you're gonna mess them up or if you're gonna like, you know, yeah. bust them up or whatever. Okay, so I will do my couple pairs of shoes. So this is a pair of Lucky Brand boots. These are so, so cute. These are not the Basil booty. I believe these are the Loren boot. I can't get over these. These They're like size fit Ryan. They're an 11. They fit me so well. And like, if I didn't have these blisters in the back of my feet right now, these would be mine. I love them so much. I can't so get over this nice. snakeskin. And it's not like a cheap looking snakeskin either. Like sometimes you see fake snakeskin and you're like, yeesh, they do. This is so cute. And it's like, yeah. it's textured. They're so nice. They're new tags, I've never mentioned. They've never been worn. They still have the stuffing mm -hmm. in them. So cute. Such a good staple like booty. Like you're gonna wear a neutral outfit. You're gonna wear one of those gray ribbed, big button crop cardigan sweaters. In these. And like we said in the trend report, snake skin and gator, very Gators. popular. <laughs> and then all lucky boot styles do really well. Oh, Basically man. all of them. Okay, so I, speaking of lucky boots, I have, I think two pairs in front of me right now. Good old classic pair of the black basil booties. You cannot go wrong with these for the fall. They're amazing. The leather is so soft. They're such a perfect little booty. I believe these are a five. They're a five, but like, you're cool. Like, I keep on talking about fall, especially in, like, the Midwest. It's a staple. The black basil booty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so another black leather Lucky Brand boot. I am not 100% sure of the name of these. The Eleanor. 
Eleanor, 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 the Eller. They're really cute. They do have, um, if I can like puff them up, kind of like Jack's. It's almost Western. Style. Yeah, those same Edelman boots that he had. I couldn't think of the brand. Mm -hmm. They had this like fun detail on them. And I think these are meant to be um, a little worn in. So they are meant to look a little like the warm But they've night. also got the heel if you want height. Yeah, the stack. But again, heel. it's like Love that them. sleek, just like solid black. Good old no staple crazy, pair of black boots. Like you colors or anything. Them. And the chunky heel. Very popular. And then if black is not your color, <laughs> we have a nice cognac. I think these are like low key, a little cottage core. Only because they have this scalloped detail on yeah. them. They're very like Laura Ingalls Wilder dancing around the prairie. Like, I love that she comes up once per video. <laughs> she, you know, I think this is Laura Ingalls Wilder's ghost. You need to do like a whole art, <laughs> art. Like. My next singular show is just Laura, the, the many ways Laura Ingalls Wilder has impacted me. They're Jack Rogers, but the logo on the inside is kind of worn out. I love these. I picked them up when we were in Chicago, which was fun. They're just a really a little nice. Little did you know Cottage Court would come in. That was before this was all a thing. I was like, so, oh, look, a decently priced pair this is of such Jack Rogers This a good booties. fall cottage core It's piece. so soft. The leather is so soft. I will say there's a little bit of creasing on the toe, and they think they have a few little, like, nicks on them. But that that's, just happens. Again, welcome to cottage core. When you're dancing around the prairie, that's just what happens. <laughs> when you trip and fall over, like, say. a shrub. Okay, so these are a pair of Jeffrey Campbell booties. I do not know the name of them off the top of my head, but they are listed. So if you want to know the name, they're on my Poshmark. Um, they have a little bit of wear, like right around the toe. This little like side detail has kind of come undone, but it's not that big of a deal. But I picked these out because these check every single box of the Cheddar Port. Simple, black, chunky heel, leather, easy to put on. I have one more. Every single box. Lately, I'd say in the past like year, there has been this super popular trend of these boots <gasps> the or shoes booties. yeah that cut down the Whoop. front of your foot and back up Whoop. i feel like i've mentioned that in a few videos and i haven't oh, yes, been able man. to kind of like put together like what i'm talking about this this where like the front of the shoe comes so, like, down the top part of your ankle kind of juts out a little bit usually it goes in a little farther but like this still fits like that trend and these are eight and a half handmade leather sold made in india good for jeffrey campbell okay well, let's move on to a few coats these ones i still have hand is this a bougie coat? so this is a coat by skies are blue oh. and this is actually one that is sold at anthro very rarely this brand is sold at anthro this is like a size small and it's a wool blend it's so nice like it's we said so soft. this color of coat is so in for fall i'm super excited to have this this coat has been listed in my posh for a little while and it i kid you not has been getting like doesn't it have like 60 likes three or four likes every day for the past so two months it's a good so staple. this is gonna mm -hmm. go fast so fly i'm here. so excited to have this so if cute. you have a coat that looks like this expect it. it to sell quick get it listed then this is one directly from the Fall Trend Report. This is a Zara Trafalic outerwear. I can't get over these pockets. Size large with faux fur pockets. What did we say? The full <laughs> knee or shin length gray. wool gray trench style coats are so popular. Again, I expect it's this so to sell cute. super quick. I actually found it last year, so I've had it over a year. I, say, I just had to include this because it fits so well. Um, I think I'm going to relist it because this year, this style is so popular. Oh, I think you should. With the big um, buttons, too. Checks another box. It does. So that I'm expecting to do super well. Up next, this is a white, pretty basic turtleneck. Is it ribbed? But, no. But like we said, turtlenecks in basic colors. In. This is a stateside, which actually can be sold at Anthro sometimes because this one was. It's new with tag. It's size actually size really large. Good though. Um, it's just a basic like white turtleneck. The fun thing about buying basic tops is then you can wear fun pants. <gasps> so or like a fun like jacket or like yes. a fun vest. Yes. Like Cat and Garth from SNL. Okay, so y'all want like a summary of cottage core in one piece? If this was like a dusty pink. Gone. So it literally has like ruffled collar and, and, and sleeves. Ruffle sleeves. And it's like this what color even is this? It's like kind of brown? Like an, almost? No, it's almost like an olive. Yes. Like an like olive. Like an olive -y. Velvet lace floral 
color and pattern to it. It's, it's Aryan so Alley though. from Anthro, size extra small. And it's so but it's so cottage core that it hurts. Like it's crazy. You wear this with like a tiered skirt and like also again get a so wicker fall. basket. You're done. Okay. <laughs> again, this is all random. No jeans, then this, then that. Like we're just doing this random. So I have a pair of jeans. I want to keep these so bad. They're so cute. So so bad. But they're just a little too big. So this is a pair of Levi's. Raw hem, straight leg, and, and they, they have the, split the them. on both ankles. This is the wash that's super trendy for fall. Medium. They're the 721 high rise skinny size 31. Like we said, always go for high rise. Oh, these are my size. Oh, and they're skinny. I thought they were straight, but either way, these are oh, so cute. It's cute. that like vintage classic medium wash. Levi's are always popular, obviously, for <sighs> jeans because it's like the most true it's genuine good quality brand. Denim. And they're not like oh. ridiculously expensive. Like you can get a good pair of Levi's for 50, 60 bucks. Yeah. And the fabric tag is cut out of these, but I'd say they're probably like 1% spandex. Oh, they're I wouldn't so... even say that. They're probably 100% cotton. I don't know. But these, oh my gosh, so I cute. wish those were my size. Oh. Another pair of Levi's. These ones are brand new. They're size 27. They're the mile high cropped flare. Like we said, black or dark gray jeans are super in for fall. Doing perfect. And then flared. So these aren't like a they're crazy so insane flare. No. And they're also not like a boot cut. It's literally just a light flare. They're not like an elephant bell bottom. No. <laughs> and so like these, oh, these are They're perfect. so cute. I'm so excited for these. Wear those with your snakeskin boots. Yeah. You can be like mm -hmm. a blogger. This I mainly chose because it's just a really cute sweater. And like we said, like Love super sweaters. cute sweaters are so popular in the fall. It's really good colors it's too. It's so soft. I was so, gonna say, these are very fall colors. It's free people, medium. This is like a cowl neck and it is cropped. So I guess it mm -hmm. fits that trend too. With these really fun like- With these fun boom. like super flared- Distress fringe. Scenes. It does have like a spot in the front right there, if you can see it. Out. But it's super light, and it's I actually really it probably will just like wash out if you kind of spot treat it. This is such a cute sweater. You get a little oxy clean on that. Okay, I'll do a pair of jeans. Let's do this. This is a pair of pillow curl in the letter press high rise flare size twenty nine. I love these. I think they're so cute. It's a really good color for fall. They are a little high rise and they're a flare, which Wide checks rig. two more boxes. But I, what I <clears throat> really love about these is this like seamed detail on the front with the raw hem. Mm -hmm. Like they're so cute. And they're just like a little more elevated than a pair of like regular old like black jeans, mm -hmm. which I'm a huge fan of. Okay. It's like a basic, but with yeah, a little with bit like of Yeah, with like a something. hint of like a little like. I feel like that defines the fall is like, a basic with just a dash of just what was something. That? I have two accessories that are within immediate reach. This one is a Rebecca Minkoff purse. I picked this because of the color. How cute would this be with a little like, with a pumpkin patch background? Classic foot on the bottom. It does have a little bit of wear, kind of like on the back, but I haven't leather conditioned this yet. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking that that'll come out, but I can't get over these. I love them, especially with the big old Mm -hmm. Leather tassel strap. And for fall, like the classic, just like plain. Good old leather throw it on bags. crossbody. Yeah, and leather bags. Mm -hmm. Simple, basic, no crazy logos. Love them. Next, I feel like I see these a lot in the fall and on bloggers and a ton of other people with like a bigger, chunky sweater and a Chelsea boot, a fishnet. New tag pair of three people fishnets. These are one size in this really fun, kind of like a gray, almost stone color. Then I have. This is. I am going to find this sweater in my size and I'm going to wear the living crap out of it because it's so cute. It's a three people sweater. It's such a really like a thick, chunky knit with this really pretty pattern Chunkin woven it, into it. Trend alert. It is a size small, but anything with three people, more like three people. If it's oversized. Yeah, you invented that. <laughs> I did, but I don't know who did. Another pair of Levi's, 721 high rise, skinny, 27. Good old pair of black, regular skinny jeans with the busted knee in them. These were also sold at three people. You wear these again, with your chunky sweater. Again, like a plain pair with just a little something. With a your little bit of detail. Your knees are popping out. Mm -hmm. That's like- A little bit of detail. Speaking same of- Same with these. Speaking of um, plain with a hint of detail. And the wash. Okay. Yeah, so this is a dark wash. This is a really good dark wash. Yeah. I love these jeans. I really wanted them to fit. 
but I'm also like, I don't know where I would wear a pair of jeans like this. So this is a pair of new tag Levi's. This is a pair of wedgie straights, which is a really popular style to begin with. But look at this detail. Dolly Parton is quaking. She says, Jolene, buy me these jeans. I can't get over these. They're so cute. Good old pair of wedgie high rise jeans and a straight leg with a fun little detail on the back. They'll go with all your Western boots. Cute. All your fun Western little they boots. They will. Yeah. With the Sam Edelman's. Perfect. Yeah. Or those Jeffrey Campbell's. So let's pop out some plaids and some flannels because you can't have fall without plaid and flannel. You really cannot. So this first one is an extra small Akemi and Kin anthropology. This fits the trend perfectly. It's a plain plaid top, the but the added detail of the beads, the like pearls. Oh, so, so, so cute. cute. It is like classy, but also a little extra at the same time. It's a little, it's really it's fun. so cute. These, I cannot even hold on to these all of a sudden. So I've got a Rails extra small black and white flannel. Your quintessential. Classic flannel. Black and white flannel. It is the soft, Can't go wrong. the soft classic Rails fabric. If you've never touched Rails fabric. It's soft. Don't you, you just bought one for yourself that you have lived in for the past like three days. Take it from me. <laughs> they're comfortable. Rails flannels and their classic soft material are to die for. It's so comfortable. You can sleep in it. You can wear mm -hmm. it out. You can wear it to work. It's just a flannel. Yeah, you can wear it anywhere. Them. And they're so comfortable. And they so make men's, which I didn't realize. They do. So if you've got a husband, a boyfriend, a son, whatever. Mine's not a men's, but whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's a flannel. Let's pop out another one. So we've got a new tag rails size small. And this is a distressed flannel. Once I love again, the bra hem. Once the again, it's so that fun. soft rails fabric. Every once in a while, they don't use that fabric, but this is one of those. It's so soft. And it has a raw hem, like Ryan said. And then it does have just some random distressing throughout. Like we've got some shoulder. There's something on the front. We've got some collar. Some of this. We've got some on the back. It's just kind of some subtle distressing. So it's so fun. It's though. super cute. I also love a good distressed flannel. Yes. I don't know. You feel like edgy. It's fun. Then we've got a plaid top. This is not a flannel, but it is the plaid <laughs> look. It's cute. This is Guest Editor, which is an Anthro brand size extra small. And it's kind of this oh. like corset top. But, like, could you this imagine being so in like a cute. pumpkin patch with this on? With a pair of like high waist with on when I are you kidding me with the and Western, like a brown with, with the Sam Edelman boot dead you mama you gonna be the talk of the when I times. honestly when I pick out <laughs> my fall reselling pieces mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I picture either that you're a witchy woman like Stevie Nicks <laughs> beautiful song or that you are in a pumpkin patch to me those are like the two like visions oh. for like fall pieces. Love it. Here comes another pumpkin patch piece, and it has orange, so even more perfect. Yeah. So this is like a plaid orange ruffly top, and it is by Current Air, size extra small, and it's actually new with tag. This top actually retailed at Anthro for $140, which is insane. 120 US, 140 oh, Canadian. 120. <laughs> Like twenty dollars so when cheap. you're talking about a hundred and forty dollar top makes any difference. That's oh insane. my god. Like and it's so Why? cute. Like I, if you put one of those brimmed hats on and again black jeans. With those tassel jeans over. Help. Again, mommy the talk of the pumpkin patch. Okay, so this one is serving you more like a witchy woman. This is an extra small sanctuary. This That's is an anthro piece, but doesn't matter, no. Because it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> so it's this fully star printed like button. It's, so good. it's a half button, like see through kind of blouse. You just wear like a black tank top under this and it would be It so definitely cute. gives me like equipment vibes. Yes. Which is like It does. Oh, she's expensive. Then next up is this $120 retail Ava Franco Anthropology this size fabric 14. Is so nice. It's so soft. Again, it's more of like a plaid meets gingham kind of. Which like we love a gingham. Which a gingham is always print. really popular in the fall as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the colors are super like classic fall. With the like mandarin super color. Super nice. And it has the puffy sleeve which has been in for oh, about a good year. We love a good puffy sleeve. Cute. Honestly. And then this is Alambica size one. They use vanity sizing. I looked at the size chart and it said this would be an extra small, but I would say this could fit literally up to a large. 
Oh, extra small wear. I know. She'd be swimming in this. But this is like a lag in the brand. So another one that you should write down if you have your notebook out. You know what you always said, you make a video. <laughs> That's how you spell it. And it's like a sleeveless kind of tunic peplum top. It almost kind of feels like um, rails material. Yeah. It's really This would soft. be good for like a warmer climate fall. I was gonna say, if you like in the San Francisco or area. Or if you had a jean jacket, cause who cares if you have sleeves, if you have oh. a jean jacket. Ooh, jean jackets. Okay. I have a few pairs of pants left. The first one being this lovely, lovely, lovely little pair of high-waisted plaid Urban Outfitters pants. So if you are not familiar, Urban Outfitters does, they have a renewal program, like a renewal line where they take vintage pieces, vintage fabrics, and then remake them. And this is part of that line. It's called Urban Renewal. It has the little recycle scissor on it. These are a size extra small. Oh, I can't get over these. They look like your grandpappy's pajamas that some little crafty teenager in the 90s was like, I'm gonna make a pair of pants out of these. With the like front exposed like trouser pocket. Love mm -hmm. them, so cute. And then we have a good old pair of vintage Levi's. These unfortunately have lost their plaque, but they still have the good old Levi's tag. These are old too. The material tag on these, I have never seen ones that looks like this. Dad jean. Such a dad jean. I have this exact watch in a regular full length jean. These are more of like a capri crop style. And I wear them all the time. They're amazing. I think these measured out to be like a 30, 29 to 30, if I'm not mistaken. My size. But they're amazingly comfortable. So going off of Jack's Which Sanctuary Star Top, if you have a friend or if you have a special occasion to go to and you like that top, you should get this. It's a Shakti. That's how you pronounce the brand. They do, they have a lot with like plus size dresses, which is really great. And then they make custom pieces. So this is one of the custom ones, which is like, you can pick the waist size and the bust size and the length, but this print, this moon and star print it's is so cute. everything. I, think I want that as like a button up. I want it as like curtains, which I feel like I, I say about a ton. Like <laughs> I want it as like a curtain. Like a shower curtain. Um, and I think that measures out to be like a medium large, if I'm not mistaken. So now we got a little new tags. This is new tags, anthropology, sleeping on snow, size small. Good old chunky neutral colored sweater, but I love Cute. these elbow patches. And they're not like leather, it's like a knit, it's just like a different kind of knit. But it's so cute. It's a little cropped. I can't get over that. So pretty. Okay, I'll do one more this time. This is New Tags J Crew 365. I have no idea what the J Crew 365 line means. I don't either. It's a size zero. And I, oh, we said J Crew blazers do good. I have tweed the highest of hopes for this one. It's kind of like, it's a tweed feeling material, but yeah. it's not like, you know. But like, it's a wool for sure. Yeah. These like fun little white speckles in it. Super so cute. cute. And it doesn't look as like formal. No. As like a blazer. Like I can see somebody wearing this to like the mall or like the pumpkin yeah. patch. It's not like as like that oversized style, but it's still like, yeah. it would look cute. It really would. <laughs> we are not done with what we no. have. So in a week, we are going to be having a part two to the fall, F-A-U-L. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But Saturday, we will have a What's Old Saturday and we will see you then. And no, on Tuesday, we have another top 10 coming and you're not gonna wanna miss that. I won't tell you what 10 it is. It's a good one. It's a but new one. But it's a one. good one and it's one that a lot of people don't probably think, don't know much about. I don't think we've ever seen anybody make one of these before. No. So. so I'm very excited about that one. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those coming up. And we got tons more fun fall videos we coming. Got videos planned out the wazoo. Including <laughs> tomorrow on our second channel. So be sure <gasps> to hit the link below and go check out our second channel video tomorrow night. We're so excited. It'll be for fun. That. It's I'm gonna excited. be so much fun. I will um, say it involves eating. It hashtag does. feed Ryan. Yes. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and we will see you either tomorrow. Or on Saturday. We'll see you Friday or Saturday. Goodbye.